Welcome to First and Vaughn. Click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter if you have not already. On the screen, you will see the Browns records over the last six years. Keep in mind, Cleveland drafted Baker Mayfield with the first overall pick in 2018. Three seasons before drafting Baker, the Browns won a total of four games. Three seasons after drafting Baker, they won a total of 23 games. This is The Mayfield Effect, Part 2. The learning curve has been steep, but nothing a two-time walk-on cannot handle. The amount of adversity Baker has dealt with is ridiculous. He has had four different head coaches in four years. Hugh Jackson, Greg Williams, Freddie Kitchens, and Kevin Stefanski. He also has had four different offensive coordinators. So each year of Baker's career, he's had to press the reset button and overcome the dysfunction of the Cleveland Browns organization. Now as a rookie, he threw for 27 touchdowns in 13 starts, setting the NFL rookie passing touchdown record, which was then broken in 2020 by Justin Herbert, who I repeatedly said would be the best quarterback out of that draft class. Mayfield led the Browns to their first playoff appearance since 2002, and their first winning season since 2007. Baker carries himself with a cocky, confident edge, which is exactly what Cleveland needed, energy. Here's a side of Baker y'all will not talk about. He went over to Juju after the game to pay his respects after dropping 48 on the Steelers. That was the Browns' first playoff win since 1994, which snapped a 17-game losing streak to the Steelers. Baker changed the culture in Cleveland. It began the day he was drafted number one overall, but officially started when he ended their 19-game losing streak. 635 days without a win, and he is the 30th Browns starting quarterback since 1999. Mayfield has contagious traits. That number one trait of all? Leadership. He has believed ever since his NFL Scott and Combine interview saying, I think if anybody's going to turn that franchise around, it'd be me. What are your thoughts if they were to take you? Um, could you succeed there? Uh, I mean, that'd be a chance to play football. I'd love that. Uh, but first things first, I'd get a winner. Um, you know, I, I think if anybody's going to turn that franchise around, it'd be me. Uh, and be able to put it in the right direction. They're, they're close. They're, they're very close. They're, they have the right pieces. Uh, I think they just need one guy, a quarterback, to make that difference. He is the 2017 Heisman Trophy winner, first walk-on ever to do so, two-time first-team All-American, three-time first-team All-Big 12, and the 2013 Big 12 Freshman of the Year. In 2016, I bought stock in Mayfield, and his stock went soaring this year. Mayfield showed improvement as the season progressed, throwing for multiple 300-plus yard games. The Browns have found their guy, and need to sign Baker to a long-term contract extension right now. He is the quarterback of the future. The entire nation knows the beef between Baker and Colin Coward. Colin called Mayfield undraftable after a video in 2017 surfaced of him running from the police in Arkansas. He also said Baker would make an awful teammate. Baker then appeared in studio on the herd wearing a hoodie with the word undraftable. After the Browns steamrolled the Steelers, he placed his hat backwards mid post game interview. Everything that you dealt with all week and to be able to do this. Hold on, one, one, one quick second. Um, Colin always says a guy who wears his hat backwards never gets it and should never represent a franchise. The media hates on Baker for his Progressive commercials, so he signed another contract with Progressive and even added Hulu commercials to his resume. Baker continued to be Baker. The Browns is the Browns. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe. This is First and Vaughn, you know. Link to the side, link, link, link to the side. Link to the side, link, link, link to the side. Bust it, bust it.